The way that I learned how to do this follow the heart and not the mind thing was when I was trying to figure out how to get enough money to go to college. And I didn't have any money and I didn't have any real skills. And I wanted to go to film school. Well, that cost a lot of money. And I only had a couple thousand dollars to my name that I had worked really hard for. And I decided, well, okay, I have three choices what to do with my $2,000 for the winter. I'll make jewelry and then go to Daytona Beach and sell necklaces on a hanger to all the drunk people on Daytona Beach. And my heart was like, oh, no, that does not sound like fun, really. I'll probably get robbed. And then my other choice was, well, I could work three jobs at minimum wage, just work and 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 work. And I thought, well, let's see how the heart feels. And of course my heart didn't like that one too much. Three jobs, goodness, two or three jobs. Anybody who's working two or three jobs, you've got to find a better way. You've got to start using this whole vibrational match thing. I promise you it works even though it doesn't make any sense how it's going to work. Just hold the vibration of having money as if you already have it and then it's going to come somehow, some way, some mystery. The universe is going to choreograph away. So, so that wasn't a choice. My other choice was, well, I could go to Hawaii and just sit on the beach for six months or something and swim with dolphins and take showers in the waterfalls. I could just hang out with people and hang up by campfires and just hike and just enjoy the tropics for the winter. My heart was like, yeah, yeah, that's the one I want. Jumped up and down and got all excited. I'm like, but how is that gonna get me to this film school? How's that gonna work? Well, I decided to follow the heart because I'd heard about this follow the heart thing. I thought, all right, let's give it a try. What do I have to lose? The worst that can happen is I just have to come back and get a job. So, I went to Hawaii, sat in the sun, bathed in waterfalls, met lots of great people, did my spiritual homework, meditated for hours upon hours upon hours a day, swam with the dolphins, escaped a shark, and I, can't, I finally realized that it was time to come back to the mainland. I was running out of money. So, I got on a plane, I started coming back home to the United States, to California, and I saw a, an ad in the Rolling Stone, and I never read the Rolling Stone, really, I mean, once in a while, but I never read the classifieds, that's for sure, I never read the classifieds of the Rolling Stone. But I was so bored on the plane, and that was the only magazine there was to read, and so I even got to the classified ads, and what do you know? There was an ad in there that said, vendors needed for the Lollapalooza tour. Grateful Dead experience a plus. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. I sold tie-dyes in the Grateful Dead parking lot. I know all about it. I sold jewelry in the Grateful Dead parking lot. I know all about this. This is me. How can there be an ad there for me? I mean, really, how many times does it happen? So I called them up and I got back to the States. I said, you got any more of those booths left? I wouldn't mind uh, coming on the Lollapalooza tour with you. And so they said, we got one left. And I said, all right, I'll be there. So I went back home, got all my jewelry making stuff, got all my cool stuff to sell and off I went. And I proceeded in two weeks to make a lot of money to go to school to go to college, to go to film school. I would have never been able to do that working three jobs in a, in, in a day. I would have never been able to do that by trying to sell necklaces to drunk people on day two on the beach during spring break. I would have never been able to do that if I hadn't been in the right place at the right time. If I wasn't bored on that plane on my way back to the United States, I would have never seen that ad. And so follow your heart. 
puts you in the right place at the right time with the right people and doing my spiritual homework in Hawaii didn't hurt at all either because I meditated a lot, I worked on a lot of stuff, I did my spiritual homework. Your spiritual homework is the shortcut. Don't forget to do your spiritual homework. And so follow your heart. It always knows the right place for you to go, the right place for you to be at any given moment. It always knows the wisdom of the heart. And think with the big universal mind. That's the one that knows all the parameters, all the things, where so-and-so is going to be at a certain time, who you have to meet. So what are you going to do now? Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Leads to the right place every time. It knows the right thing to say. It knows the right thing to do. Follow your heart.